Hi, I'm Paul Kautz. I'm the Director of Education for the Data Warehousing Institute. Um, I'm here in this, at our San Diego Conference and Executive Summit, and I'm here today with Larry Burns. Larry uh, is a database consultant at PACCAR. And Larry, you've been in the, in the IT space for over 25 years and spent a lot of it uh, in the last few years uh, focusing on agile, uh, on agile databases. And your new book, uh, Building the Agile Database, has uh, recently been released. And uh, as a matter of fact, you taught a class for us on that uh, on Sunday. And we're happy to have you here. And would like to start basically by just kind of getting an understanding of a brief description of your view of Agile BI and how it fits in the space. Thanks, Paul. Well, Agile to me encompasses three things. The continual involvement by the business where they're constantly specifying and refining requirements and evaluating the work that's been done. A continual delivery of business value back to the business and a continual participation by project stakeholders, a collaborative effort. Terrific. Well, in, as we know, BI is a pretty broad field. It's got, you know, with, with, with scorecards, reporting, performance management, data modeling, data architectures, all the different uh, disciplines that go on for BI. Is there, is there one agile method that fits all of these in your mind? I think so. It's to start small and focused deliver some significant piece of value back to the business quickly, and then iteratively expand on that solution, build it outward, and continually deliver more and more value back to the business. I like what Ralph Hughes says about failing early and often, and I might add failing as cheaply as possible. Start with a solution that you can deliver quickly and inexpensively, have the business evaluate something that delivers a significant piece of value to the business, and then let the business drive how you expand that solution outward to deliver more and more value. Terrific. And, and, and into that, from a value standpoint, um, is Agile BI really only about value to the developers and productivity to the developers? Or are there other technical benefits that we can, we can hope to see from Agile? Well, Agile really isn't about the developer, Steve Ballmer notwithstanding. You probably remember that video where he says, it's about the developer, the developer, the developer. No, Agile is about the business, the business, the business. And it's about delivering that continual value back to the business and giving the business the tools that it needs, the data and information it needs to create and transform and manage its relationships with its stakeholders. So as, as you do these projects and you get the business involved and you're going through the collaborative process of Agile, are you seeing businesses really embrace this and start to grasp it more or demanding it or are they still kind of pushing back on it? No, I, I think there is definitely not only more of an acceptance but more of a demand for it. I have seen data warehouse, data mart projects, BI projects canceled after six months, say, because the business wasn't seeing any tangible value back from them and they were tired of just writing checks and not seeing anything. And so the business now is demanding to see value more quickly and they, and because business changes so rapidly and the business environment and the regulatory environment changes so rapidly. Businesses need that information much more quickly now than they ever have before. That's what's really driving Agile. Well, you know, we, we, we've been talking about this is, the, uh, this is our second TWI conference that's, uh, that our themed focus is, is Agile. Last year it was, it was building your Agile BI environment and this year is exp expanding your BI, Agile BI environment. And when we first started doing Agile here, I think we talked the, uh, only about 10% of my, atten uh, my audience would come and say that they were doing Agile projects. And Ken Collier, who did the keynote on Monday morning, he asked in the keynote, how many are people actively doing Agile projects? And over, oh, well over half of the people were raising their hands. So it seems to be catching on and catching on very rapidly in, in, the, uh, in the customer community. In the vendor community, what are we seeing in the vendor community? Is there, you know, Agile BI methodology, uh, is that something that a vendor tool can exploit, or are we just talking about more best practices here? 
Vendor tools can definitely support Agile. In fact, next month I'll be doing a presentation at CA's ER World online conference to talk about how the logical data model can be used to support Agile software development in a model-driven development approach. And a good modeling tool is very key to being able to make that happen. I talk about how the logical data model can be used as a springboard for the discussion and analysis of requirements for ordering and prioritizing user mm -hmm. stories and for driving the design and development of the database. So it's, it's both tools and processes. It's the ability to understand how to do what you do faster and better and more iteratively and streamlining your processes, having tools that support those iterative streamlined processes, and then being able to integrate your processes with the processes of the other stakeholders involved in this collaborative effort. Terrific. That, that's all very, very interesting. And, and, and with Agile BI and Agile Data Warehousing finally getting a foothold and, and, and really starting to be on solid ground, where do you think, uh, what, do you, what do you see if you look out into the future, where do you think Agile BI is going to be in the next three to five years? Well, I think the economy, our economy generally has been moving from a service economy to what you might call a self-service economy. Business value these days is mostly about empowering your customers and stakeholders to do more things for themselves instead of having to rely on other people to do them for them. So I'm anticipating that we'll see more of an emphasis on self-service BI and empowering business users to be able to do more and more business analytics and reporting and scorecards and all of these things for themselves rather than having to rely on IT people to do them for them. I also think there'll be more of an emphasis on process improvement, on finding tools and strategies to streamline our BI and our data development processes and integrate them with processes from other stakeholders. So there'll be a, a business process management component to Agile BI, I'm very certain. Terrific. Well, I think, I think we have a lot to look forward to in this field. I think it's going to be, it's going to be growing for a while. And I appreciate your time. This is with Larry Burns, uh, author of Building the Data Warehouse, the, excuse me, author of Building the Agile Database. Yes. Uh, I'm Paul Kautza, Director of Education for TDWI. Thank you very much for joining us.